Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Arising for the weeks of April the uh, 16th through the 30th, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. Sorry, I hope you guys can't hear me. I know I just drank all this uh, sparkling water before I uh, started doing this reading. Okay, but um, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, thank all of you guys that have hired me to do your personal and private readings. And overall, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys uh, show to my channel. Okay. Now, also, this week, I won't be pulling the additional cards. Um, uh, I'm too pressed for time this week. I've been really busy. Uh, so maybe, hopefully, I can do that for May. Um, okay, so the heart of the situation here, I have the Seven of Pentacles. And I also have the Seven of Cups. I have the Nine of Cups. I have the Empress, Justice, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Um, okay, so those of you that have been single, I feel that you have your intuition has been telling you that. Somebody is on their way into your life and you've already been preparing for this. You've already uh, been taking care of your physical appearance, your health, um, maybe your finances, um, your just being emotionally available and attractive. And I feel like you are just kind of ready to open up and put yourself out there. Uh, people have already been flirting with you and paying you like a lot of compliments. And you've just been kind of like the center of attention. Um, wherever you go, people notice you or have been noticing you. And to the point where you get a little confused, like you're like, well, Maybe being single is kind of fun. You know, I, I get so much freedom and flirtation. You know, I can date. I can take my time. I can pick and choose. You know, so it's like you're you're enjoying your time alone. But at the same time, something is telling you that someone is getting ready to come into your life. Um, it, you've been waiting a while and now it, it's, it's time. It's happening. And I feel like you're right. You are getting ready to be introduced to this person that you have a soul contract with. You even had a dream about this. Uh, those of you that, you know, study astrology, you've already been checking like your marriage transits and you're like, oh my God, okay, it should be this week. Oh, when this planet touches this planet to my personal planet, this, you know, it says that I'm supposed to meet someone here. So you're right, you know, so, so a lot of you, I feel like you're getting ready to uh, connect with that person and there's going to be um, a soul contract, maybe even, um, well, this is if you're single, like I said, this is an introduction, you are meeting the person that you've been fantasizing or dreaming about, I feel like it's a dream come true. For a small percent of you, it is just an illusion or a fantasy you've been daydreaming about. But for most of you, I feel like it's actually happening. I really feel like this is happening. Like those, even those of you that are like, yeah, right. No, I feel like you're going to come in contact with someone. Um, now, the only thing is that you must already know this person because you're spending time together like a family unless you just hit it off so good that you end up, you know, like something that is supposed to be like a one night stand or you're just having fun with someone and they end up staying at your house for like the whole week. So it's like something like that happening. Um, those of you that are in relationships and you've been trying to get pregnant, you're I feel like you are very blessed this week or you know for sometime within these next two weeks because you're very fertile here with the empress empress uh you are very fertile <laughs> and my mind is in a gut gutter i'm seeing like a lot of water around her so she's surrounded by wetness 
But hey, you know, somebody is ready and they are making it known. Uh, they are putting it out there and you are attracting that that partner. Um, what is that word? Called? Is it pheromones? I think that's the word where, you know, you just kind of step out into that environment and all the singles know that you're available. So they start coming to you and competing for you. So I'm feeling like something is going on with you where it's um, something also spiritually happening, not just with you pampering yourself and putting on your perfume and putting the girls out. <laughs> I know some of y'all like put those away leave me alone <laughs> but yeah some of you are it's more to it than that it's also your aura your spirit your energy you are drawing in that person that you're supposed to be with that person that you have that contract with that curse person that before you incarnated on earth, you guys had that conversation like, yeah, meet me at the corner of so-and-so on this date and we're going to start a relationship and a family together. So I feel like it's also a spiritual connection or, you know, that contract that is coming into play here for many of you. Um, and and then those of you, like I said, that want to have children, I, I just feel like this is a very blessed week for you. I feel like you're getting what you asked for, like you wanted you wanted to get pregnant, you wanted that baby, and um, you know, your prayers were heard, and the universe made a decision to give you what you've been asking for, and you're being rewarded with abundance, with family, an additional family member here, and now you guys are planning things, and you're putting that nursery together, and um, preparing to bring another life into your um, world. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like this is really happening for uh, many of you here. Um, even those of you that are already in established relationships, I mean, I just kind of feel like things have been going really well for you and your partner. Uh, I am seeing some sort of fantasy or temptation, but you might be doing that as a couple, like living out some sort of fantasy, something you were fantasizing about or your partner, um, you you know, they didn't know how to approach you with it. I feel like you guys are making that a reality. And overall, you know, you've been, um, you know, reflecting about your life and the possibilities and um, taking an assessment of the things that are valuable to you, the, the things that you want in your life, the things that you have to have. This is a big investment. So, um, you know, this person coming into your life or the person that is already into your life, you know, you put a lot of time and energy into that and it pays off. It pays off. Whatever you've been doing, if you have been using a law of attraction, uh, because this is law to me as well, this is attraction. So the law of attraction is manifesting for you. You've been daydreaming. You've been re working really hard at it. You've been fantasizing and daydreaming. The, the Nine of Cups is also about wish fulfillment and dreams coming true. You just had to clarify some stuff to the universe because I feel like maybe you you felt at one point like, I think maybe I need to do this. I think I really need to make this real. I need to make this vision as real as possible. So you went and you reassess your fantasies, you clarified some things to the universe and you put your prayers out there and now you're being rewarded or blessed with whatever it is that you wanted and you know um you're seeing proof of it here. This person is everything you fantasize them to be, man or woman. Um uh, you know there there's a a dreamlike quality about this person um, you're like, is this real? Is this really happening? And I do feel like the planet Venus is doing something significant or that is playing a, a, a role. Um, this is playing a role in this for you. Uh, speaking of, I also feel like some of you could be dealing with, uh, Taurus, Libra, uh, maybe Capricorns, and also Leo, Aries, or Sag. But there's a lot of emotions going on. You're able to share your emotions. You're being emotionally balanced. Um, I feel like 
you know, you're you're putting in and seeing what you're what you what you put in, you're getting back. Uh, there's a mutual give and take that I feel uh, it, between you and this person here, and. I just feel like you guys are reaching a fair agreement. Now, also, for some of you, you may also be uh, receiving uh, some sort of settlement as well, uh, especially if it was something in regards to something that happened at your job that you have been waiting for. Like, when is this settlement happening? I feel like you are the, the judge or the paperwork has been completed. Everything's been reviewed. And now the judge is getting ready to make a decision. And now you're receiving abundance here. It could be abundance in money too. Um, Also, for some of you, I'm feeling like you're being blessed with a, a new home. And you're figuring out where things are going. Uh, there is some sort of discussion taking place. You guys are just peacefully discussing, um, you know, where you want things. For some of you, you're in love with your coworker. You're, or, you know, it's a work. For some of you, it's a work love relationship. Like you're, you started a business with you and your partner, especially if they're like a very entrepreneurial minded person. It's a family business for many of you. So yeah, I mean, overall, it's just, I could go on and on. It's, it's basically, it's very, uh, a lot of abundance and good things happening for uh, you guys. Uh, the following week, something awkward happens. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I feel like someone makes a mistake or makes an awkward decision or a poor choice, a foolish decision. And this is almost like Okay, so if you're like in an established relationship and I don't know, you love your partner, but you ended up kissing somebody else or you, you know, took something too far and it was just like, why would I do that? And, and it was just like, you kind of blame it on the alcohol or whatever. Blame it on the al 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 alcohol. <laughs> so yeah, it's like something happens where you kind of blame it on the alcohol or the liquor like I don't know why I did that so because with the lovers here although this is also a connection or having a connection with two people or being equally attracted to the same person because of that someone kind of throws you off your game or your partner this this happens to your partner is so listen to your intuition if you feel like your partner did something stupid they probably did I don't feel like it's your imagination I feel like you you literally picked up on it um, I don't feel like it's going to last, though. I just feel like it's something that happened. Um, those of you that are single now, those of you that are single and dating, there is a possibility that you're juggling between two people or you're going back and forth or you're trying to see how long you can go with from one person to the next person. being very undecisive about this person that you're having a connection to, especially for some of you too, this is pertaining to an on off again relationship. Like one minute there's stability and growth and the next minute you guys are taking a break from each other. Or there's something in the relationship that is very unstable or on off. But the attraction is there, the potential is there. Again, I'm feeling like somebody is stepping up their game or I think this is the third reading this came out in the seven of wands where you have to set boundaries or confront someone because you might feel threatened. You feel like there's an outside 
an outsider or an outside party that is threatening the stability of your relationship somebody is threatening your fantasy you're like this is my this is my man or this is my woman this is my life like stay in your lane so i'm feeling like someone is kind of having to you know there's like some sort of competition with the person that you're in love with and you have to you feel like you need to protect your home um or your intuition is telling you that you know this person is not just your friend like your partner is just like, oh, this is just my friend. And it's just like, no, this person is not your friend. This person wants you, you know, don't be stupid. And you're just kind of like having to tell your partner about themselves um, and get them to act right, you know, before something does happen. Um, or, you know, this could be happening to you. Your partner is like, get your shit together because, you know, it looks like, that flirtation thing, that's that's a little bit too much. Or that's your ex. You told me that person was your twin flame. You know, just something's going on um, where someone feels like their relationship or their happiness is being threatened here. And there's a need to protect, go into protection mode. Also, for some of you, you may be involved with a water sign or a water sign might try to come in between what you already have established. So uh, another Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. And someone may be trying to act innocent like, oh, I didn't mean anything. Oh, it was just a harmless kiss. Oh, I was just flirting. It's like, no, this this is, you know, my husband or my wife like that. Don't even go there. So I feel like someone is, is, they're expressing, they're trying to, you know, sugarcoat it. And you're just like, no, we're not standing for that. So I'm feeling like, too, you might feel like this person is in competition. Um, this person also may be younger than you. Or you're looking at yourself as a little more mature than the other person. And then also, like I said, this is about having to listen to your intuition and go with it. Don't ignore it. Something could be presented to you in a dream. And, you know, that could have been a, a clear sign or message that you needed. it. It's not that I'm necessarily seeing. Don't worry. I don't see like any breakup or anything. But, you know, just... Somebody uh, uh, outsider might be looking at your partner or what you have. They're looking at your happiness and they're like, I want what they have. And so they, you know, oh, he looks like he takes care of her. Now that's the type of man I need or, you know, that's the type of woman I need. So somebody is, there is a, a threat to the relationship and they could someone's faith could be tested or their loyalty could be tested as well because i am seeing you know this lover this other person being um uh faced with temptation here or you know some sort of trial um also one more thing before i go that i wanted to say Yeah, I mean, but whatever the case, even if you are single, I still feel like you're making a love connection and this is uh, someone that's very significant. This person that enters your life is very significant and you could be in denial about it or trying, you know, one minute you feel close to that person and connected and then the next thing you are being defensive and, and feeling like maybe this is too good to be true. So you try to fight them off, like stay away from me. Like this is this is just too good to be true. I don't trust you. I don't believe you. So you might feel a little threatened and try to push them away at first because the connection is so good. And I feel like that's more so for those of you that are single when this person comes into your life and there is someone coming into your life. There is a love co connection that is on the way here. Um, and yes, I know this is a general reading, but I feel like you're watching this for a reason. If it doesn't happen within these next two weeks, it is in your energy field. It might happen a little later than predicted, but someone you're going to make this connection. If it doesn't happen within these two weeks, then it should at least happen by Gemini season. All right, so you guys, um, I hope this resonated with you all. Uh, remember it is a general reading. 
But um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you want your private reading. Email to matt76 at gmail.com, um, which is in the description box below. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments. Again, thank you guys for watching and many blessings to you.